A pleasant day to everyone. Fellow engineers, presenters, speakers, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. Our next speaker is from Riyadh. Before, my first impression of him, very vibrant and accommodating. Though it was through our phone conversations that I asked him to sponsor our last year's annual convention. When I met him personally in that event, he was really remarkable. He quickly got the attention of the PSME Versa community. Indeed, a true leader. His accomplishments would speak for himself. He earned a bachelor degree in biomedical engineering. He is the co-founder of Stavoklima Saudi. To give you a short background of the company, Stavoklima is actually a European air technology brand. It was founded in 1994. An ISO 9001-2015 certified company that adheres to German quality standards. As I said earlier, they were our major sponsor in the last year's convention. And today, once again, fully supporting our first virtual conference as a sponsor. It is with great pride and honor to introduce our next technical speaker. Let us all welcome with our massive round of applause the Chief Executive Officer of Stavoklima Saudi, Engineer Abdul Rahman Ramani. Hello, good, uh, good, uh, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, we can hear you, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> That's great. It's my honor to be in uh, PSME w WRSA. And uh, actually, my uh, warm regard to to the uh, membership uh, president and membership uh, vice president as well. And it's my uh, glad uh, and my pleasure to be again in the, uh, joining this uh, uh, this uh, event, 220 virtual mid year. And I'm willing as well to join more and more in the near future. I hope so. Uh, as you know, uh, we are uh, here in Riyadh. We are forming Stavo Klima Saudi. Our company is, uh, let me open a file. Okay, our company is located, our head office is located in Europe. Yes, our company, our head office is located in Europe. It's called Stavo Klima, and we are Stavo Klima Saudi. We are the seller point for all Stavo Klima products in the region, especially in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we are focusing currently on the air curtains, European air curtains made by Stavo Klima. And our company overview is that uh, Stavo Klima is a European technology brand inspired the world through innovative air curtain technologies to help uh, save energy and maximize comfort inside the buildings and eliminate the unwanted air and par particles from entering the building. The company was founded in 1994, privately owned, 100% uh, owned in, in the Sizik Republic. The, to the annual turnover is 8.9 million, but now it's not anymore after Corona pandemic, it's became much less, unfortunately. The average annual growth is minus this year because of our Corona pandemic, unfortunately. Uh, our 80% of the production is exported among Europe and other countries out of Europe. The factory has got uh, ISO 9001 certified and 2015 ISO certified. Uh, we use only German uh, quality standards and our products are highlighted to, into three categories. The first category is air curtains, heating units, and acoustic products. We'll be talking today about the air curtains because our core product here in Saudi Arabia is only air curtains. Heating units are not, uh, uh, are not ordered 
frequently in, as uh, air curtains here in Saudi Arabia. So we are only selling air curtains in Saudi Arabia. So let us start first with the history of air curtains as a brief discussion. The air curtains, uh, uh, before we get to the air curtains, the, the reason behind uh, uh, having the air curtains, before they were the buildings, we're having open doors and these open doors consume energy and waste uh, the cold air, waste the conditioned air as well, and the insects are free to enter the dust, the dust particles are entered, entering inside the buildings. So Mr. Cannell invented the revolving door in 1888, and he was happy, Mr. Cannell, of his invention because he was not needing any more to open the door to keep the door open for his wife. So revolving door is a self-service, no need to, to have the door open for other person behind you. Uh, but revolving doors later on are not that much con convenient because revolving doors doesn't allow you to pass uh, carts, get strolly, and it's not even feasible when there is a high traffic and it causes accidents as well. So later on, Mr. Cannell, the same inventor of revolving doors, he invented the air curtain in 1904. And air curtains became more popular in Europe and USA in 1940s and 1950s. After that, the air curtains joined many sectors industrial sectors, grocery sector, uh, sectors, uh, large, small, uh, large, uh, opening door, uh, large opening doors, small opening doors, uh, uh, public uh, doors, public places as well. And they are becoming uh, more and more popular day by day. So what is the benefit of using air curtains? Why people purchase air curtains? Why air curtains have proven themselves? First, they save uh, money by saving energy. Secondly, air curtains make the inside air clean while the outside air might not be clean. Thirdly, the air curtains prevent the heat to come inside, inside the building. Fourth, air curtain offers smooth traffic. The air curtains doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, hinder the traffic flow. Fifth, Air curtains prevent the smoke from moving from one area to another area. Six, the air curtains keep the, the, the temperature inside the whole building constant and stable. The area next to the doors have the same temperature of the area inside the building. Usually when there is no air curtain, the area inside, uh, the, the area next to the door is very hot unlike the area inside the building. When you install air curtains, the area behind, next to the door is got the same temperature as the area inside the building, in the middle of the building. So these are the main benefits of using the air curtains and, that, um, and, and why it's becoming more and more popular. Now we are moving on how air curtains work, what, how the, the air the air jet is making energy saving, is it preventing uh, insects, is it preventing uh, as well uh, dust from entering inside? How this air, how, what is the philosophy, of the philosophy of this air? So we will explain now how, how the air curtain works. The air curtain sucks the inside air toward the cabinets and the, the fans here will accelerate the speed and generates the air stream. The air stream leaving the air curtain will be targeting the ground and the conditioned air will be inter, will entrain the jet, and the unconditioned air will entrain jet, the jet. So the the air jet is targeting the floor. When the mass of the air strikes the floor, it creates a spillet. What is the, the benefit of spillet? Spillet will have the conditioned air return back to its area and the unconditioned air return back to the outside or to its area. So the, the main factor of using the air curtain and the main uh, factor is having the air curtain is spillets, creating spillet at the ground. Without spillets, 
the air curtain will not be beneficial at all. Some people want to have air curtain with the high velocity. They want it to be in like a knife, not only an air curtain. And we recommend them always, and it's common, ha commonly happening in Saudi Arabia, we recommend them always not to have the high velocity air curtain because high velocity air curtain will not create spillouts at the ground. It will create turbulence, what we call it here, in turbulence. Turbulence, when, when it comes and accurate, when it comes and uh, shows here, it makes between the inside and outside air, and the air curtain will not be beneficial at all. The these, the the ideal spirit should be like it should be looking like this unconditioned air leaves outside the conditioned air gets inside when the air jet have no velocity enough velocity and weak air flow the air jet will not reach a floor and will not create spirit as well so here the air curtain using the air curtain here in this case is not beneficial at all. And it's with, with, and it would waste energy more than having no air curtain. Again, the air curtain produce a rear jet. The air jet, when it comes down, targeting the floor, the unconditioned air is entrained. The conditioned air, uh, air is entra uh, entrained as well. And when it hits the floor, the conditioned air is back to its, its respective area. The non-conditioned air is back to outside, to its respective area. Uh, the insects, the insects prevents the air jet because the air jet could get unfamiliar environment for the insects. And the insect prevents the unfamiliar environment and that's why they prevent passing through the air curtains. So air curtains prevents over 80% of the insects. Uh, you can say mosquitoes are almost 90% prevented, but large insects, flying insects, sometimes they, they pass through the, the ground where the, the velocity is at minimum. So they come down and pass from the ground, the flying insects. Also the dust, when the, when, when the dust is entrained to the, to the air jet, it gets outside by the spirit as well. You can say like hardly you can find some dust gets in, because of the pressure difference or because of the wind the pressure, sometimes the, the, the dust gets in. But overall, in ideal cases, the air curtain will save building in energy, will keep the temperature comfort, uh, uh, the inner temperature comfort, and as well, will uh, not consume the ACs as the building with, with no air curtains. Here are the main factors to be considered before purchasing an air curtains. And many people here in Saudi Arabia, unfortunately, don't have knowledge about these factors. Uh, sometimes we find uh, uh, the wrong, wrongly selected air curtains installed in the wrong place. And in these cases, the air curtain is not beneficial. Let's say application type. Application type, we should define the application type. Why I'm using the air curtain? What is my application? Is it industrial? Is it a small opening door? Is it a commercial? Is it a museum with, with the high opening door? I should have define my application and use the right air curtain. I can't use commer I can't use sorry commercial use air curtains for industrial doors because the air curtain will not reach the ground at this time at that time and won't resist the wind Roger. Uh, what is the second uh, factor to be considered? What is the reason of installing the air curtain? Why I need my air curtain? Do I need it for energy saving, for insect control, for climate control, for freezers, for ovens? What is the main reason behind installing the air curtain? I should define the reason because defining the reason will help me select the appropriate air curtain. If I say I need it for velocity control, I mean for insect control, I said select a higher velocity air curtain. If I need it for energy saving, I should select a lower velocity air curtain, but with the wider air jets. So I should always tell the seller why I need the air curtain. Third thing to consider is the entrance. What is the height? What is the opening width of my entrance? I should select the true air curtain that covered the entire height and the entire width of the air curtain. We found here commonly that people are purchasing only air curtains to to just to, to show the the that we are we are using air curtains. But 
to be when when it comes to to finding the air curtain that they purchase they form purchase smaller air curtain than their door and the, the air escape from from the sides plus the air curtain is not protecting the doors from the side and is not offering that protection at all sometimes the people purchase weak air curtain they have industrial air curtains they need industrial air curtain like some water factories do it here always they need the uh, industrial air curtain they are forced by sfda to install air curtains and they don't have the budget to, to purchase uh, industrial air curtain they purchase commercial use air curtain with a low voltage and low airflow airflow and velocity projection so you got zero benefit for, of it actually but they are just trying to satisfy SFDA and instead of satisfying uh, their needs. And uh, now nowadays, SFDA is becoming more knowledgeable about air curtains. And it happened many times that SFDA reject their, their uh, purchase. They tell them, no, it's weak. You should, you should purchase industrial use air curtain, not commercial use air curtain. Sometimes you need to know the entrance type. Where is it located? Is it the uh, main door of the building? Is it employee entrance? Or what is for, what is entrance uh, type? What is the type of this entrance? Because in large buildings like uh, malls, big malls, there are several doors in the building. So using several doors of the building means the pressure is higher. You need the more powerful air curtain. And instead of using the air curtain for a small opening door, for a small store, here the pressure is not at all a big, a big issue. Why? Because single door building is becoming like a water cup. Water cup, I mean, a closed sealed from all the sides and only one side is open. And this opening is small as well. So the air curtain is used here is totally different. The air curtain is used, is, is used in the hard situation in big buildings. Fourth thing that I need to consider is installing type, installation type. What is the type of installation that I need to consider before I purchase the air curtain? It depends on my uh, the decoration criteria, on my door uh, uh, sizes. Uh, sometimes we do it like uh, recess mounts. He should tell us that he needed a recess mount. Sometimes wall mounting, sometimes hanged on the ceiling. Even sometimes we do it vertical, vertical mounting on the sides. So the end user has to tell us why he needs the air curtain, what is the door dimension, plus uh, the installation type, what what kind of installation that he wants. We ca he cannot purchase uh, normally air curtain to be installed as a vertical use. He cannot purchase even uh, ceiling hangs air curtain to be used as normal air curtain. So the price is different, the technology is different, plus uh, the mounting at the end is totally different. Fifth thing that you need to consider and you need to focus on this uh, pretty much is the browser, browser difference. And sometimes in the industrial uh, doors, the large opening industrial doors, there are some exhaust fans, there are some uh, chillers, freezers, there is a massive heat difference between the inside and outside. Uh, so the pressure will be there as well because of the wind, because of the heat difference. I mean, the inner temperature and outside temperature. So will, there will be infiltration and exfiltration for sure because of that. So we need to consider the pressure difference for large, large buildings and measure the need of the true air curtain. So when there is a high pressure, you need high velocity and high airflow air curtain to prevent the pressure difference from occurring, from infiltration and exfiltration. We have got uh, some buildings, uh, some customers, I mean, uh, did not consider the project different and they purchased the air curtain that it seems to be okay with them. But after they installed the air curtain, they found out that the project is too high and the, and the air curtain was not beneficial at all. Uh, plus, you need to consider before the purchasing the air curtain, the custom so solution. Uh, sometimes you need a hazard, hard, uh, you need hazardous uh, free air curtain. You need uh, to consider the power consumption. Is it three phase, single phase, the control type, the heating, the cooling. Sometimes we, we sell here air curtains with the cooling system, uh, the connectivity as well, plus the, the housing with the air curtain. You need it in which color, black, white. It's kind of customization for the customer. 
So this is all about the factors to be considered before purchasing the air curtain. It's application type, reason of installing, entrance type, plus installation type, and pressure difference, considering the pressure difference of the, of the, at the door side, and the custom solution. Only six factors to be considered. Uh, here now we will discuss about the Stavoclima air curtains and what products we offer here in Saudi Arabia, because in Europe they offer much more products than here. But what makes Stavoclima air curtains different than competitors? Stavoclima air curtains are made only for, for Saudi Arabia. We are not using the European standard line for, for Saudi Arabia. Why? Because Saudi Arabia got different temperature than Europe. Secondly, the end user has it, uh, wants its, uh, its uh, unique features. Like in Europe, they don't use a remote controller. They use a wall controller. Here in Saudi Arabia, we use a remote controller. We use in different technologies than to Europe because of the, uh, the pressure different here and because of the dusty weather, especially here in, uh, in dry areas in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh and in some areas located near to the deserts the weather becomes always dusty. So the air curtain needs to get uh, some uh, technologies that prevent the dust from entering inside. Uh, so this is the main difference between Stavoclima air curtains and other competitor air curtains. We are using special line for Saudi Arabia, custom made for Saudi Arabia. And uh, we are offering as well uh, pre um, premium service, customer care service. So here are the products. They are divided into three categories. The first category is called comfort air curtain. Second category is called industrial air curtain. The third category is called um, design air curtains for luxury areas. So we will start first with the uh, comfort air curtains. Uh, it's, uh, the first model is called LI Mini. LI Mini is used for doors uh, 2.6 meter height maximum. LI Mini got uh, uh, perfect technologies to match the need here in Saudi Arabia, it got plenum that offers superior air, superior air uh, distributing. It got gold saving mode, windy mode saving, ERP convenient fans, BMS convenient, and variable time delayer. These are the main fact, uh, the main technologies that that we that uh, that are needed here in Saudi Arabia. Here are some places that we install LI Mini. We have installed in hospitals, hotels, cafes as well. LI Mini used for small opening doors as, uh, as it, it says here in its description for door height less than 2.6 meters. Uh, now we are moving to the next product. It's called LI Zero Light. LI Zero Light Comfort got the same technologies of LI Mini but with the with the newer technology, I mean, with the with the more technology, is called wide air jet. Wide air jet means that the air curtain will produce a wider air jet uh, for public area. This wide air jet used for public buildings. Uh, Li zero, it's got same feature of Li mini, but Li zero light is used for public doors, for malls, shopping centers, and cafes as well that got a high traffic or high pressure level. Li Zero again got the same features of Li Mini, but Li Zero for public doors it generates the double airflow of Li Mini, but the velocity is the same, but the air jet is wider. Then now we we got Li Two Light the, uh, model, and this model is widely used for food servicing area, like Saudi catering with engineer Kanika. He purchased this model from us, Comfort Li Two. Uh, Li2 got the same technologies of Li0, but it, it got a higher velocity and uh, much more uh, airflow. It's used for door height from 3 meters up to 4.5 meters, Li2. Uh, it's widely used in, uh, in shopping centers where it got high, tall entrance, or with the buildings that got uh, negative pressure or high positive uh, pressure levels, Li2 model. Of course, we got uh, also Li3 and Li4. They got the same image of Li2, but Li3 and Li4 offers higher velocity and higher uh, airflow as well. And they are used for, for doors from four meter high up to 6.5 meter high. We don't have uh, pictures for them here currently. 
Now we are moving to the concealed model. This concealed model is called Econ C. Econ C is totally concealed above the ceiling, and uh, you only see uh, the engine. You can you only hear the engine is running. You don't hear a noise level, and you don't see the air curtain. You only see the front intake. I mean the intake and uh, outlets of the air curtain. Econ C is widely used for hotels because the noise generates a less noise level, plus it doesn't hurt the decoration criteria. Econ C can be customized in any color, like in black, in white, or in aluminum as well. So this is all about comfort uh, models. Now we are moving to the industrial model. It's called AXI model. AXI model, the industrial model offers higher velocity and much more airflow compared to comfort models. Plus, it's, it comes in large length, like one air, one air curtain cover the entire width of the air curtain. No, I mean, entire width of the door. Axi air curtains are unique, and they can be heated or cooled. Also, they can be installed horizontally or vertically, as you can see here, vertically or horizontally. Axi models, we, got, we have got uh, over 28 models from the Axi models. Depends on the door width and height. And they can be in stainless steel color, I mean, in stainless steel housing, and they can be in high IP grade, like uh, an Al Bake restaurant in Jeddah. They, they wanted Axe to purchase Axe with IP55 fans. And we are the only very few brands uh, who offer IP55 and higher IPs. Uh, now we are moving to the design series of Stavo Klima. Uh, these design models are rarely ordered in Saudi Arabia. Customers don't purchase them because they are pretty expensive, but they match every elegant area. They have they got a very low noise level, high airflow projection. I mean, good airflow projection, and uh, with the unique design that match the decoration criteria as well. So here we got a model is called Tubex. We are installing two air curtains here, not only one. It can be only one. It can be one, but the customer insisted to have to to match his decoration. Uh, Tubex air curtain can be in stainless steel as well, and it can cover uh, door width up to 2.0 uh, uh, width, door width, and it can be in a different color as well. It's hanged from the bottom, and the power connectivity comes from the bottom. You, can may, you may order the power connectivity from the top if you wish. Here comes the second model of the design series. It's called Arcus. Arcus model is more powerful than Tubex model. Arcus got a unique design that allow, that allow the end user to, to have it in revolving doors. As you can see here in IKEA, revolving doors. And some shopping centers that got a rounded door and in some hotels as well. You can, it, can be, it can be in stainless steel with the rock color or totally in stainless steel as well. So Arcos uh, is more powerful than Tubex and have uh, its unique design allow, allow the end user to use it on revolving doors. Uh, Nucleo model, it's horizontal, not a vertical. Uh, it can be in stainless steel or any rock color. Here, uh, Riyadh Metro is considering to purchase it uh, as it's got a very elegant uh, design and low noise level with the good air velocity projection and airflow. Nucleo is much more expensive than the comfort, uh, I mean, the comfort uh, models and Stavo Klima, and it got uh, less technologies though than the comfort models, but people like it because of its design and uh, if it's low, if it is low noise as well. Here now is our last model in the design series. It's called Compact. Compact for five uh, star places like hotels, like Red Carlton Hotel or Royal Palaces. It comes in a very, very attractive design. Even if people see it in, on the street, maybe they might take a selfie with it. Uh, it's our most expensive model in Stavo Klima, and we never sold a unit here in Saudi Arabia, but we were almost selling one unit, but didn't uh, succeed. Uh, the compacts can be in stainless steel, brushed or polished as well, and it can be painted in any raw color. It has a back cover to hide the section 
or you can remove the back cover, cover and have the air curtain painted as well. That's all about the Stavoklima air curtains. Now we are moving to customization. Stavoklima has got customization uh, for, uh, for its air curtains. As you can see, this is comfort units. The suction is not from front, it's from the top and got stainless steel housing. Uh, we can have uh, a revol on, on the revolving door, but from the top, not from, uh, not, not from the side as Arcos air curtain. We can have a, a different shape air curtain. It's upon your, your need. And we can customize the air curtain also to have a cooling or heating system upon your, the end user need. It can contain the, the front screens and the front as advertising screen and can got the decoration criteria color as well. This is air curtain installed in IKEA in Europe. It got blue and yellow with the front advertising screen. So air curtain here, it didn't come only for air uh, uh, environmental control, but it's as well decoration criteria, matching the decoration, part of the decoration and uh, advertising as well. Here are the, uh, the industrial air curtains, custom line industrial air curtains. Our air curtains as well can be installed on the freezers from minus 40 up to plus 79 on the ovens. Uh, we have installed these here in Saudi Arabia as well. And we have the concealed solutions. In Saudi Arabia, we have performed many projects concealed with different shapes as well. Uh, but we have all, all the need that the customer wants about the air curtain. Not, we are not only providing a regular air curtain, but uh, very customized uh, with a pretty look uh, air curtain. And uh, now we are offering a new model to match the market need as well. It's called LIPICO. This model is unique, slim, compact as well. And it got the German technology fans with a, a very fewer technology compared to other uh, comfort air curtains. So uh, do you guys have any questions? And Gene Santos, you hear me? Yeah, yes, we can still hear you. Yes, uh, now we are almost done. This is the technologies that we offer in Stavo Klima compared to the other brands. And this is uh, the last sheets uh, now. Uh, does anyone from the membership has any questions about our products or or he wants to know any anything about uh, Stavo Klima itself? Uh, uh, thank you, Jared Abdurrahman. Yeah, welcome. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so we, we have the question and answer portion. So yes. now we have the first question coming from engineer Danny Hershow. Okay. Uh, what maximum outdoor air velocity that the air curtain will not allow air passage inside the building? Uh, well, uh, for the air velocity, for the air velocity, you should uh, consider uh, not the projection velocity, you should consider the velocity at the floor. The velocity at the floor should not be reaching more than five, uh, six meters per second at the floor. So if the velocity at the floor is more than six meters per second, it will uh, produce. Uh, it, will, it will not create a, a spillage. It will create uh, a turbulence. As we discussed before, turbulence will make the mixing will will allow the mixing between inside and outside, and the air curtain won't, won't be that beneficial. So he should care about the ground velocity when he purchases the air curtain. He should uh, review the 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 diagram of the velocity of the air curtain and watch the ground velocity of the air curtain. Uh -huh. Okay, because that's clear. In, in the, uh, engineer Danny? Yes. Did you get it right? Uh, uh, what I want to know is uh, you're talking about the velocity down, but uh, in practical, you are measuring outdoor air or, you know, the velocity in ambient. Yes. Is there a limitation on the air curtain for this? Uh, it depends, engineer Danny. Like industrial air curtains, they offer up to 30 meter per second. Air, air velocity. Yes, but uh, 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 this velocity will decrease when the, the when the air targets the ground. Uh, so he should uh, the consultant or the end user he should know what is the ground speed. 
is it performing a split at the ground or not? Uh, you, of course, you can have a multi-speed air curtains that will benefit you because multi-speed air curtains allow you to adjust the speed based on the weather condition. When, the, when it's dusty or windy, you can increase the speed. When, it, when the weather is regular, you can have the medium speed or low speed. But at the end, uh, uh, measuring the velocity at the ground will create a split and will offer the, the protection to, you, to your facility. Uh, okay, can okay. I have one more question? Yes. Uh, okay, please. Okay. Is there any regulation in Europe or wherever, wherever that uh, that mandate the use of this? Because for energy, you know, everybody is talking about energy savings. Is there yes. any regulation that the consultant can put this in their specifications so that eventually it's not only used as an ordinary air carton to throw away, to keep away insect? Is there any regulation or BS or EN standard? Available now? Uh, uh, depends. If you are using uh, the air curtain for insect control, the consultant should write down that should, this air curtain is accredited by, or certified by NSF. NSF. Uh, NSF air curtain are, are certified to be insect control. If the air curtain is needed for energy saving, then the air curtain should have uh, technology, uh, uh, should be certified by AMCA 220 or certified by your events or certified by any any institution that that certifies the air curtain but in common ways uh, the air curtain type the air curtain type uh, is, uh, i mean tells about itself like comfort air curtains they are used for energy saving uh, small air curtains like they are used for uh, insect control uh, industrial air curtains they are using for insect control mainly and for uh, uh, energy saving at the same time. Uh, but for having a standard or certified air curtain, you can say this air curtain is for insect control certified, or this one is cert uh, certified for comfort use. This one for certified for hazard location. Still, no certification yet came out. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Okay. Thank, thank you, dear Danny. Uh, next, we have another question from Engineer Nino Jose Lopez. Is there what? any criteria for the mounting or just customer preference? Yes, the, there is. There is some uh, criteria. You can say they are uh, divided into into three. Uh, the, the, we offer we offer sometimes a survey that the customer needs to fill or uh, we offer to the consultant or uh, to the end user a program is called RATOS selection, selection software. This uh, RATOS selection software is, uh, is created by Stavo Klima, certified program. It allows the end user to go inside and uh, put down the diameters that the width of the door, the height and the project level of the door and the model that he wants, whether industrial or comfort or design, then to offer him the data sheets that he should go for it. Ratos, by the way. Okay, and Julian Nino, is it clear? Uh, Ratos, sorry, okay, continue, please. Yes, Ratos uh, selection program is not only offered by Savo Klima, uh, many competitors offer the selection software, but at the end, when you choose an air curtain, you will find the same airflow, uh, I mean, applicable in other brands. Let's say like if you, I select Rattus software to select my air curtain and I put the diameters, then it offered me an air curtain with a certain velocity and certain airflow. If I, if I use a different program, like in a Freco air curtain, they have a, a, their program, a Burner air curtain, they have a program, Mars air curtain, they have a program. At the end, they will offer the same airflow that I got from the Rattus program, same airflow, same diameters, velocity, uh, the width of the air curtain. Uh, so these selection programs uh, offer uh, the, the, the true data for the end user to follow. Professor. Professor, thank you. You're welcome, Jane Nero. Okay, another question. Uh, another question from Engineer Danny Herschel. Uh, how do you test the effectivity mm -hmm. of the air curtains installed? How we test the effectivity of the air curtain installed? Uh, we use uh, sometimes we use uh, like a smoke test or a bubble uh, bubble test 
when the air after installing the air curtain, we used the windmill at the bottom to measure the the, the split uh, efficiency efficiency, and we use sometimes the uh, the anemometer uh, velocity control uh, uh, measure uh, velocity uh, reader at the ground as well. So we have different materials, but mainly for the customer use, uh, we use uh, smoke, smoke test. We, uh, we, uh, we burn something with that, that, that uh, generates loss of uh, smoke uh, that, as a tester, smoke tester. And we can show the customer that uh, the, the smoke is not entering inside. It's only leaving the building and uh, joining the air and leaving the building uh, from uh, and returning back to outside. Sorry, it's not joining inside. Uh, by the way, uh, if the air curtain is needed for dust control or for hum humidity prevention, uh, prevention like in Jeddah weather, in Jeddah weather uh, the humidity is too high, so you should install the air curtain in the clear side. Uh, if you need it for dust control, you should install the air curtain in the clean area, not on the, the area that got dust. So uh, many times the restaurants uh, are not using the air curtain in a good way. They are using the air curtain outside. We, when you ask them why you are using the air curtain outside, he, tell, he would tell it's generating too high noise level. So he did not select the air curtain and he installed it outside. So when there is outside hum humidity or dust, all the humidity and dust will come inside through the air curtain. The air curtain will, will throw the dust and the humidity inside. So installing the air curtain in the right way it means you need you should know where to install the air curtain whether inside or outside it was okay, clear thank you you're you okay. welcome you're welcome any uh, more questions is clear we will move yeah. on to the next question to the uh, or last okay thank you uh, okay for the last okay. question for this uh, technical presentation from architect Clemente B. Gadbonton. Is there any danger regarding virus control if the virus or any bacteria is stored within the exhaust motor? Any sanitary risk control, if there is? If there is? Uh, well, uh, we when we started here in Saudi Arabia, we were, uh, we were considering using a UV light, a virus color inside the air curtain. But uh, you, this UV, uh, UV light needs uh, uh, a restriction on the use of it. Uh, it should be hidden completely inside, and plus the uh, it should be switched off when the when the service engineer wants to open the air curtain. And you can you can't uh, tell if the UV light is working or not or is def uh, is defective because it's a place inside. So using the UV uh, UV lights inside the air curtain for killing virus or for sanitizing the air is not uh, is not uh, so far beneficial for the air curtains. Uh, air curtains for the virus are placed uh, inside the exhaust fans. Uh, you, you may use the HIPAA filters or you may use uh, consider using a certain filter type that match your need. But of course, using a filter means you need to, 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 to do more frequent cleaning of the air curtain. Uh, our industrial air curtain has got no filter because in industrial areas, the dust is too high there. So using the filter means that I need to clean the filter every day. So that's why in industrial air curtain, we use no filters. Our air curtains there are strong enough to, to resist, I mean, to, to, to keep working with the high dust and the high particles there. Okay, thank you, Angela uh, Duraman. Uh, architect, uh, is it clear? Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, air curtains when when they were several years ago when they were uh, yes, Vika Vika virus, they called the Vika virus. I don't know which virus it, it came in uh, South uh, Latin America. Uh, there, there was a virus called Vika. It came from mosquitoes. So the air curtains we were using there uh, widely because air curtains prevent mosquitoes from entering inside the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for that information, Engine of Duraman. Yeah, welcome. Any more questions left? Any more questions? Uh, in case you will have a, a question, you can write it down in the chat box and then we will answer it through uh, uh, through your email. Okay, that okay. will be uh, our procedure. Uh, okay, uh, but before we hang up, I will just uh, tell the technologies that we have here in Saudi Arabia than other companies. 
uh, technologies that we got here is called the plenum. All of you know as a mechanical engineer what's, what is a plenum. Here the air curtains got so no plenum, but our staff of cleaning air curtains got plenum. Plenum will make the air curtain leave the, uh, I mean, generates as a single piece air. Here the air curtains that got no plenum, you can see like a different, uh, uh, I mean, gaps between the, 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 the air jets. Uh, here as well, we got the uh, gold saving. When, the, when it's hot outside, the air curtain will uh, make the air, the air leaving it uh, is, to, uh, is angled 15 degrees toward inside. So it will save the cold energy of the, of the building. And when there is a windy outside, the air, the air jet will be turned 15 degrees to, uh, toward outside and it will prevent the heat and dust from entering the building as well. So these are the main technologies that make us different from others. I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, you will call me in the near future and ask me about, uh, about the air curtains for your project and we will be glad for that. Uh, sure, Engineer Abdurrahman, we will consider yeah, your air curtains. Okay. Uh, and, uh, thank you, Engineer Abdurrahman, for your you're generosity. Welcome. You're welcome. Now it's a prayer time. And for, uh, for the knowledge to be imparted to all of us this morning. Uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, now we will have only our award. Sorry? It's my pleasure, actually. And, uh, uh, Engineer Abdurrahman, yes? Yes, it's my pleasure to be, to be in your... Uh, we'll wait for a few minutes. Yeah. For two minutes, we will just award the block of association. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, engineer. Okay, Engineer Lori, please let's yes. award the block of association to Engineer Abdurrahman. Thank you, Engineer Lee. Let me read the contents. We present this block of appreciation to Engineer Abdul Rahman Ramani. Chief Executive Officer Stabok Lima Saudi, in grateful recognition and profound appreciation of their unselfish dedication, support, and invaluable contribution for being our technical presenter for Stabok Lima Air Cartings. During this Chapters 2020 Virtual Major General Membership Conference, given this 28th day of August 2020 via virtual conferencing, duly signed by our Aldrin Allison D. Lango, M.E., Chapter President, Lorenzo Gabiola, M.E., Conference Chairman, and Jose Melvin D. Santos, M.E., Chapter President. Sir? Many, many thanks. It's my honor to, to receive uh, this uh, gift from you. Our sincerest gratitude for your usual support in our PSME Versa chapter. 